To create a simple interlocking illustration like this one, we need to use both the selection tool and the direct selection tool. The selection tool is the black arrow and it's the most common tool you use to move objects around. It'll move an entire object altogether. The white arrow, or the direct selection tool, allows you to grab different parts of an object, whether it's the corner, or an anchor point, or a segment of an object, and manipulate those different parts of the object. So first what we need to do is we need to be on the selection tool and move our two squares so they look like our example. So let's go ahead and move that like that. And now what we need to do is we need to make it look like it's interlocking by moving either this line or this line to look like it's above the blue square. Now this is a little bit tricky in terms of you're not actually going to move it and you're not going to remove this line, you're going to copy this line. So to do that we need to deselect by clicking off the objects, grab the white arrow or the direct selection tool, click this line segment, and even though it looks like the entire square is selected, it's only actually selecting this line segment. We need to go ahead and copy that segment, then click the blue square so that we can tell Illustrator what to paste it in front of. So now that we have the blue square selected, we'll go up to Edit and choose Paste in Front or hit Command or Control F. When it does that, it takes that line segment that was copied and pastes it in front of the blue square so it looks like it's interlocking. If we went back to the selection tool and drag this line segment off, you can see that we've created a third object to create the illusion of the interlocking object. This is a great basic illustration for learning those two selection tools.